YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Steph, man. <clears throat> Nigga just woke up and shit. <laughs> but uh, definitely want to get to this video topic, man. Why you shouldn't let a woman disrespect you? Because I did the live on Sunday, and there was a lot of callers calling in, and it was a lot of callers getting disrespected and allowing their woman to disrespect them. Women are like children. You gotta give them consequences. You gotta give a woman a consequence when she says something that you don't like, when she disrespects you, when she's out of line, when she's out of pocket. You gotta give her a consequence. You know what I'm saying? My big brother used to make me stand in the corner for two hours. Certain consequences you gotta give your woman or a woman when she continues to disrespect you. And if the disrespect is just blatantly OC out of control, you gotta let her go, fam. You gotta let her go. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you gotta let her go. Like this one dude that called in on the show said that, <laughs> said that his woman was texting other dudes. And then left him and slept with other dudes and then came back. That's disrespect. That's disrespect. Because what she's doing is she's using the escape goal of leaving you to get new dick and then come back to you when she's tired of new dick. And she's going to continue to do it over and over and over again. And you're letting her do it because you're letting her come back in your life. The most utmost, utmost disrespect you can cause to a woman, I mean, that a woman can do to you, is her fucking another dude, and you know about it, and you take her back in your life. I don't care if y'all got kids, I don't care if y'all married, nigga, that's the utmost disrespect. And she gonna make her cheating justifiable, of course, every woman does, but that's the utmost disrespect. Now, I ain't saying, like, I ain't saying, like, kick the bitch to the curb, because, you know, some of y'all, you know, want to want to still, you know, provide financially for the woman. And you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. But get back with the chick. Moving her back in your crib and shit. Especially some of you dudes who ain't even got your own shit. Y'all living with her. That's a beta ass shit, fam. Y'all ain't got your own shit and y'all living with her. Come on, fam. Where, where the fuck they do that shit at? Can you tell me where they do that at? That's, that's some crazy stuff right there, bro. You should never let a woman disrespect you. Ever. And if she do, there's a certain level of disrespect. You gotta put her on ice. Some dude in the comment section said, is it a principle of you telling her she can't have male friends or is that insecurity? No, nigga, that's a principle. What the fuck? That's a principle. If it's just like, if it's right out the gate, that's a principle. That's If it's right out the gate, that's a principle. Just like when you finna, um, just like you come your first day of school, first day of college. What's the first day consist of? Syllabus, principles. You read the motherfucker so you know what you finna break and what not finna break. And you know if you break though one of those syllables, one of those uh, consequences in the syllables, you're gonna be held for your actions. It's just like that with women, G. If you hold yourself a high standard, if you hold yourself like a high value man, if you call yourself an alpha, a dom. If she breaks one of these rules, she, she has to have consequences. And you can't tell her. You have to just show her. You have to show her. So if you tell her no male friends and she is literally saying, you know what? I'm not getting rid of my male friends. Well, bitch, we can just fuck. That's it. You, you can't fold. You, you can't fold. I don't care how pretty she is, how big her booty is, how big her titties is. How, how You cannot fold because she's going to test you, test you, test you, test you to see what kind of man you is, to see how strong you are, to see if your principles really strong. Just like we was in school. We're going to cheat a little bit and see if we're going to get caught. You know what I'm saying? We gonna, I, remember, I remember I stole from Target before. 
And they was following me around the damn store until I threw it back in the thing. I was like, oh shit, they really see me. I'm going to stop that shit. I was a little boy stealing Game Boy uh, games from Target. You got to be, like, you got to give people consequences, bro, when they do certain shit. You got to let, you got to help hold people accountable. And if they break the rules, bro, you got to punish them. It's just like that with women, bro. You got to punish her. You got to punish her. You have to. Because she going to keep on breaking your shit. Disrespecting your shit. You're not, she going to give you the shit test and the bitch test. Then she going to cuck your bitch ass. What's disrespect? Disrespect is when, you know what I'm saying, she expects you to give her all your non-sexual attention and she ain't trading nothing for it. That's fucking disrespectful. But guess what? You allow her to do it. For all you guys out here who's fucking with these chicks that you really want to fuck and you ain't fuck her yet, if she ain't giving away on all your way your non-sexual attention, she ain't giving you shit, that's disrespectful. But guess what? You're allowing her to do that. You're allowing her to do that. You taking her on dinner dates and paying for her bills and she ain't doing shit for you. And you only doing that because you want one thing from her. Two things, head and pussy. And you ain't getting neither one. You're getting the hopes of it. You're getting the hopes of it. That's why you're doing it. She disrespecting you, bro. That's disrespectful. But you so pussy whip, you so much of a fucking simp that you gonna do anything to compromise your manhood. And the guy said, Steph, what is compromising your manhood? Doing shit that you don't wanna fucking do. That's compromising your manhood. Doing shit you don't wanna fucking do. I don't care what 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 girl it is, how bad she is. If it ain't what I wanna do, I ain't doing shit. I ain't doing shit. But that's the mentality that y'all gotta have. Y'all gotta kill that beta. Because the beta in you will kill you before you kill it. If you don't kill the beta, the beta gonna kill you. And while the beta is killing you, that woman is killing your ass too. Double fatality. Because she's disrespecting you, bro. And you're letting her do it. You're letting her. She's. She's still following her ex on social media, liking her ex pictures, but she says she loves you. But she says she only want to be with you. Nigga, that's a fucking lie. That's disrespectful. The guy you told her to stop talking to, she's still talking to that guy. And you ain't giving no consequence. You think she gonna stop talking to him? You acting like a little bitch because you ain't giving her no consequences. That's on you. That's all on you, bro. Because you allow her to disrespect you. You allow her to treat you like a little bitch. Your woman getting fat and shit and she was in shape and you allow her to get fat? Guess who that is? That's on you. Because you're not holding her accountable. You letting her disrespect you, bro. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. You know, you got some women that's watching this video. Oh, that's insecure if I can't talk to male friends. Well, bitch, you a hoe. You a hoe because you can't even fuck with one dude when y'all exclusive. You got to fuck with other dudes. But all women like that, bro. She can't just have you. She need other guys, too, to conversate and talk to so, she, so they can stroke her ego. And if you don't put that bitch on ice, or if you don't tell that bitch she can't do that shit, right when y'all meet, your principles and the rules, and then she do it, and you allow her to do it, she disrespecting your ass and your little bitch. Don't fuck that. Fuck that. I ain't done. More disrespect that your woman can cause and do to you, or a woman that she talking to. She Say y'all smoking or something, right? And she bring one of her weed friends to the house, in your house. Man, that bitch is disrespectful. Or say her and her male best friend go out somewhere. Man, that bitch is disrespectful. She gotta go. She gotta go, bruh. 
I'm gonna tell y'all something, fam. I I dealt with the the best friend thing, bro. And, and I'm gonna tell y'all one thing about women, G. If a woman can't stop talking to a dude, it's because they did something that got them both emotionally attached. And women do not get emotionally attached just by having conversations with a guy. It just does not happen. They must have did something sexual for them to have some sort of emotionally bond for her to not stop talking to him when she with you. Trust me, nigga. I've been through all this shit. And when you don't cut it off, when you don't give her consequences, when she continue to do that shit, she will continue to cuck yo bitch ass. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Holla, holla back at you.